Hello everybody, this is Adam from Wheel Guns for Wheelmen. Today we have a new gun. It is the Gerson MC14T. And we're just going to do some initial impressions. I have put 50 rounds of Full Metal Jacket and 24 rounds of hollow points through this pistol. I have a list of four pros and four cons that I see at this point. Uh, the people I think that are going to be interested in this pistol are mainly older people, people with arthritis, people with weak hands and arms due to any number of medical issues, nerve damage, um, loss of fingers, etc. Now, the features that I like about this gun, which what it is, is basically a Breda 86. The Breda 86, however, was a 380 pistol that had a single stack magazine that only held eight rounds, but it had a tip-up barrel. So the tip-up barrel is what makes the 86 different than the 84 series. But the 84 series of Breda Cheetahs had double stack magazines that held 13 rounds instead of eight rounds. So this is the best of both worlds. It's an 86-84 hybrid. Comes with a 13 round mag that says Gerson on it. But um, one of the, I'll just say the uh, the first pro is that uh, you can use both uh, Breda and Metgar 84 series magazines and they function flawlessly indeed. I've used them for about 50 of the 75 rounds I put through the gun thus far. Second pro, you can get this gun for $450, which is a lot less than you can get a Breda Cheetah, especially the new 80X, the new series of Cheetahs. Um, and so that's a, that's a pro. The tip of barrel design is itself a pro in some senses, uh, because if you have weak hands, as I mentioned, you can just toss around in and close it. You never have to rack the slide. It also means that there's no need for a, uh, a manual decocker lever, nor do you have to try to decock the hammer by hand because you never have to decock the hammer because the hammer is decocked, assuming you've pulled the trigger uh, and put it into that position. Uh, with the gun cleared, nothing in the barrel, you just pull the trigger, put the magazine in, fully loaded, tip up the barrel, throw your round in, boom, you're ready to go. Indeed, you can see this in one of the uh, shorts I posted uh, yesterday, I think is what, you know, yeah, yesterday. Uh, and then there should be another short that I'll be posting about this gun in a few days. And there's also one from when I got the gun, I believe. So you can go back and watch uh, shooting videos uh, under the shorts. Now, um, so yeah, it's 450 bucks instead of like 750 for a real Beretta. It takes 84 series mags. Uh, has a nice tip-up barrel design, which has its own set of pros as we just discussed. And the final pro is it has two nice features, so I guess it's really two more pros. But the, the two features I like are it has a rail. So if I am going to be carrying this, because what this is is basically a double stack 380 Beretta 92 series looking pistol. Double action, single action. So it's obviously meant more for concealed carry because it's much smaller than a 92 series pistol. Smaller than even a 92 compact. And so for concealed carry, I'm going to be out at night put a light on it so that's nice uh, and the other feature is the trigger the trigger is really nice the double action trigger is better than most of the stock Beretta triggers I felt recently coming out of Beretta um, both the double action and single action pull are quite nice now there are cons however because I did buy this with the intention to carry this as a, as a part of my EDC rotation which I guess if it's the EDC rotation, is it really an EDC? It's not everyday carry if I'm switching them out for different uh, outings, different types of outings. But I wanted this because I have a Ruger Max 9 and a Ruger LCP 2 and a 32 caliber revolver. None of those have an ability to mount a light. I wanted to be able to mount a light in case I was going to be out at night. Uh, and I wanted to have something that I could pack. Now, first thing, if I do want to carry this, I'm going to have to get a holster for it. Ideally, an inside the waistband holster. There are very few holster makers making holsters specifically for this gun, especially light-bearing holsters. Indeed, I, I don't know if there are any. 
luckily Kydex holsters aren't hard to make and I have a friend who can make one um, as a one-off and I'm sure you can find people in your area some gun stores probably have gunsmithing capabilities in the back and it's not hard to make a Kydex holster uh, so first con very little aftermarket accessory you know uh, very there's a very small market for aftermarket accessories is what I should say uh, and so that's the downside hard to find holsters and other things like spare parts and different sites and stuff uh, two you can't disassemble the firearm you can't even field strip it you can't you know take the slide and barrel off because of the tip of barrel design and how this works like Gerson says we don't recommend disassembling it and it doesn't tell you how in the manual first gun I've had that has said that very odd um, I don't like that because that means once I shoot it a lot I can't get in there and clean some of the nooks and crannies and it might get gunked up and uh, fail to cycle all the way now it also had a jam one it was uh, I put four rounds of sig v crown into a magazine threw it in the gun uh, well technically I put three rounds in the mag threw it in the gun dipped up the barrel threw in the fourth one I went BAM and went BANG everything's good but the second you know the first round in the magazine did not chamber it just kind of went straight into the feed ramp and didn't go up and into the barrel to the chamber now I've had that happen on a couple other pistols with Sig V Crown and I've since put five rounds of Hornady FTX and 15 rounds of Hornady American Gunner hollow points and those all cycle fine I'm gonna chalk it up to the fact that some guns don't like the V Crowns because Sig V Crowns have a very wide hollow point um, and so I think it needs to be a pointier hollow point and in order to cycle in some guns and so because it works all the Hornady hollow points I'm not super concerned I'd still carry it uh, once I can find a holster or have someone make one for me but the main thing that makes me very hesitant to carry this pistol is that there are numerous scenarios where I could see this being an issue so I don't know if I can actually get oh there it is as you can see there is right here there's no extractor yeah I have never owned a pistol that did not have an extractor I'm sure there are probably a couple in existence but that to me is just very odd um, and I noticed it because I went and I put a snap cap in and I went and I dry fired it a few times which is nice because I can just pull the trigger over and over without having to cycle the slide manually but I went to um, well I went to extract I didn't tip the barrel up what I did was I racked the slide trying to get uh, the snap cap out but the snap cap would not come out and why was that is because there was no extractor to latch over the rim of the casing or of the snap cap here uh, but that also means if you have a dud round or you know casing doesn't just get blown out through the process of the you know detonation and uh, slide opening up and it going a you know hitting the ejector and getting ejected out and it gets jammed up in there uh, you can't just rack the slide and go to the next round because it would just try to chamber a new round right into the back of the old dud round or whatever you have so in a self-defense scenario where my life's on the line I don't know if I want that so that makes me very hesitant to carry this gun but if I have you know reliable ammunition that I trust to detonate upon being struck and if this gun proves to be reliable after about 400 rounds of different hollow points and full metal jacket uh, and I put 50 rounds of the same hollow point ammunition through it yeah I'll probably carry it on occasion probably only at night uh, I love the gun though very nice very very good trigger like, I do not miss with this gun one I'm used to the double action single action Berettas but two like it's just a very good trigger for a $450 Turkish gun anyways thanks for watching please like and subscribe leave comments ask me you know anything you want to know if you have suggestions for future videos make those but like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.